This is the third and final instalment of the series Prehistoric and Ancient Stones in Ayrshire. Kemp's Law is a vitrified dun not far from Dundonald. It dates from the Iron Age. It's a remarkable structure in that part of it has been vitrified, that is basically turned to glass. It's not sure how this was done. Modern experiments haven't really succeeded in producing this effect. The name Kemp is found in several place names in Ayrshire. Its origin is thought to be from words meaning warrior or hero. The vitrification may have come from a ritual destruction of the site. Local legend has it that cremations were carried out here. The knock cushion stone is said to have stood on the old Justice Hill of Girvan, and rather unusually was said to have been a sanctuary stone for debtors. The Lamargal stone at Luga is said to be in a rocking or Logan stone. It's said to be used by the Druids to interpret questions that were asked of the rocking motion. Also, it's said to have had a small stone circle around it and may have been the grave of a Caledonian hero. The Thorn Mount, near Staincast on the outskirts of Irvine, was a cairn or barrow dating from the Bronze Age, about 1300 BC. It's possibly also been used as a justice hill for the old Stain Castle barony. It's even been suggested there may be in a wooden castle on top of it at one time. This 1913 photograph shows the old limestone now lost. It stood near the old Hawkett Loch, not far from Lugton. In the distance is Craig or Craighead Law, on top of which there used to be a stone circle. Also, a stone known as the Boar Stone had a hole drilled into it, into which the standard of the local laird was placed when he wanted to call his supporters for battle. The Kamor's Laupenstein was a horse mounting block, and therefore it was quite old. However, it may be even older, as it has some of the characteristics of a leper's stone, where vinegar was poured into a bowl and the money placed there for the lepers to collect. The Ogre Stone, or Thurgus Stone, lies close to Dunlop. It was a glacial erratic and is said to have been a Logan or Rocking Stone at one time, but it no longer does. In its vicinity, there are said to have been burials. The stone lies above a pre-Reformation chapel site and holy well. One of the unlikely suggestions is that the, those who had breached their faith were made to crawl round the stone, basically saying a prayer to the Great Stone, hence Thurgut Stone. The Sulis Cross may once have been a standing stone converted into a cross. It's supposed to commemorate the death of a Lord Sulis, who was an Englishman who was trying to attack Dean Castle and killed by Lord Boyd. It's not clear why an Englishman would be commemorated. The puzzle may be answered by the fact it could be the sole cross. The Wallace stone lies not far from Minishamp. On its surface there appears to be either a carving of a cross or of a sword. It's said that William Wallace rested here and they laid his sword down and miraculously its imprint was left. It's possible that it actually was one of the marker stones for the Pilgrim's Way going down to Whithorn, such as was followed by King Robert the Bruce in an attempt to cure his leprosy. The Witch's Stone stands on the Craigs of Kyle, and a Wallace Stone is said to be nearby. It was once a Logan or Rocking Stone. There's no direct legend attached to it, but it's typical of the sort of stone where it's said that a witch would be flying on her broomstick with a large stone in her apron when accidentally it would fall.